This is Albert. He will be representing his home country on the International Physics Olympiad 2012. Albert is very anxious to perform well on IPHO. He agreed to review some of the rules for the IPHO competition with us, to make sure that none of us would accidentally break the rules. Albert's guide is Oliver. Oliver will be helping Albert whenever Albert needs him during the IPHO. It's the morning of the competition, and Albert woke up early enough, so that he could have a healthy breakfast. Before leaving the hotel, Albert made sure that he had his name tag with him. When arriving to the competition venue, make sure to only have with you the things allowed by the rules, a pre-check calculator and some pens in a plastic bag. Better leave all other personal belongings to the bus. In case you forgot, give them to your guide before entering the competition grounds. After your guide has taken you to your box, check that the competitor's code on your name tag, on the wall of the box and on the envelope are all the same. Take your seat and wait for the start signal. For the examination, your box will look similar to the one on the screen. For the experiment, you will have two boxes with one assignment in both of them. You are not allowed to leave your box before or during the competition without anyone accompanying you. You are also not allowed to touch or somehow move the examination papers and experiment equipment before the competition starts. The competition starts with one signal. After the signal has been given, open the envelope and check that the competitor's code on all the papers match the code on your name tag. If you notice that the codes are not matching, then raise the help flag and wait for help. The competition lasts for 5 hours. If at any point in the competition you feel that you need help, then raise the help flag and wait for assistance. If you need to visit the toilet during the competition, then raise the toilet flag and a guide will come to accompany you. Do not leave your box without an IPHO volunteer or your competition results will be cancelled. Don't write anything on the header of your work, because this makes scanning the papers impossible. Please do not break or in any way ruin the experiment equipment. Doing so will mean that your results will be cancelled. The competition is over when you hear the signal three times. When you hear the final signal, finish your writing, put all the papers back in the envelope as they were at the start and leave the envelope on the table. Leave your table as it was before the competition and move on to the corridor on the left. If you finished your work before the final signal, then raise the help flag and wait for a guide to escort you out. Please don't leave a mess on your table. And this is it. Just to be sure, let's go through the main points once again. Only bring the things that are allowed to the competition. Follow the guidances given by your guide. 
Make sure that all the codes on your box and papers match the code on your name tag. Avoid breaking the experiment equipment and ruining the examination papers. If needed, use help and toilet flags for assistance. Thanks for watching and have a successful competition.